Okay, so in this video, I'm going to try and make it short and sweet for you guys to understand. But as you know, that every time Beat Saber receives an update, you lose your custom mods. However, you do keep the custom levels if you guys didn't know that. But in terms of mods, you do lose them. So every time it does get an update, you lose it and you have to reinstall the update. Um, the mods using Mod Assistant. If you don't get Mod Assistant, then I'll leave a link in the description on how to download that it literally is so easy to do but if you already have mod assistant and you kind of know what to do then you suppose you don't really need to watch the video but if you are struggling i'm going to give you a quick simple guide on how to get things set up so once you've got mod assistant it's going to ask you to find the installation directory where beat Saber is the easiest way to do that really is open up oculus and just to remind you that this is for Oculus, okay, not for Steam. And I forget to mention that. Okay, so, um, oh, I forgot about that. So we're gonna head over to the library and it tells you here what folder the game is in, but we're looking specifically for Beat Saber. So on Beat Saber, click on the three dots, go to details, then location, copy location to clipboard, then go to the search tab and then you just paste that in there and boom it literally takes you to the folder super simple hopefully this worked for you <laughs> and here look it has old plugins some every time the game is updated so just to clarify with you guys as well so each time the game does update if you're going to beat saber data this is where your custom stuff is. So you go to custom levels and all your custom songs that you saved previously are in here or in the future. Every time you get a custom song, they're always in this folder in the Beat Saber data custom levels folder. Um, in terms of like custom avatars and sabers, they're still there as well, but you do lose them as well each time the game updates. So you do need to reinstall the mod assistant to uh, use custom avatars and sabers. You only keep the custom levels, if you guys didn't know that. Um, in terms of everything else, I don't really know. But um, that is your installation directory. So mod assistant is going to ask you for that when you first get mod assistant, which is blah, 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 about options. Yeah, hello, it's going to ask you here. So basically, you just want to copy and paste, but it says select folder, it's going to ask you to find it. And so this PC, um, for example, mine's in new volume D, Oculus Games, software, and hyperbolic magnetism beat saver. So you just click save there, select this directory, save. Um, have these things checked if they're not. And then head over to mods. Um, I just have the basic stuff like BS IPA. I think that's standard. More playlists, playlist manager, score saber, camera two, song core, beat saber downloader, saber factory, custom avatars. And I think all these are default as well. Anything else, then you can just select them whatever you wish to have. After you've done that, just click install or update. And I should probably mention this at the beginning, but every, I suppose after each update, you need to play the game at least once. You may or may not have to, but just to on, be on the safe side, just play the game once without the mods installed. Exit the game, then install the mods, and then everything should be working fine. I've literally just done it right now. I probably should have included it in the video, but it's kind of an effort. Um, but it literally works straight away. All they did was just open up Mod Assistant. I have played the game already before the mods. So all I did was just click on mods, selected what I want, install update, played the game, and there you go. Custom avatars back, custom sabers, and the song play the song downloader, and um yeah, it's all there and you're all good to go. Try and remember this process again. It's just pretty much the same over and over again each and every time uh, Beat Saber gets updated. However, you got to make sure 
well, maybe keep up to date with what version Mod Assistant is on as well. Um, but I've not really had any issue with the version Mod Assistant's been on, so you can kind of ignore that. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did, just leave me a thumbs up. would really appreciate it. If you've got any more questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, there is also a, um, a Beat Saber mod um thing on my discord i forgot what you call it but if you do drop in my discord there is a section that tells you about mods for oculus as well i know i do get a lot of questions about the oculus quest i mean so if you go over to my um beat saber how to mod i've, I've linked it to pc no quest modding uh, the beat saber modding community Right, so this tells you how to mod on PC and also Quest. Quest core mods are now available. I've not done it on the Quest. I don't know if I want to yet, although it is quite popular and people want to know how to do it because most of you won't have a PC. But actually right here, it tells you how to do it. Open BMBF, select tools, install BS. Uh, that's actually quite an old post. Um, but here, one the current version update tweaks and lights. So, Quest Modern is currently not safe to update. If you want to custom songs or mods, please stay in your current version version of Beat Saber. But yeah, just keeps you up to date. Tells you that Quest Modern is not supported currently. So, telling you not to update your Quest version at this moment. Mods available compatible with the current version of Beat Saber on the Oculus. So the PC VR version, you are good to go with modding. However, with the most up-to-date version on the Oculus Quest version, it's still saying it's not supported. So do not update Beat Saber on the Oculus Quest. So once again, I hope this video did help. I know I talk, talk a lot and it might not be clear, but if it was, just let me know if it were. I'd really appreciate it because the feedback really means a lot. All right, so with all that being said, I'm going to go and uh, hope you enjoy the video and see you all guys in the next video. If you come back. I'd really appreciate it if you did. <laughs>